Hi everyone, I wanted to record you a video that showed you how you could use Microsoft Documents in Google Classroom. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is where you just use that Microsoft document in Google Classroom and then the students open it as a Microsoft document. The second method is where you use Google Drive to convert it. So let's look at both ways. So the first method, I'm going to go into my Google Classroom and I'm in Classwork here and I'm going to create an assignment. So let's click on Assignment and then this is going to be called MS Documents and I'm going to just put it in my topic training so it's nicely organized and then I can put some instructions. I'm going to leave that and then I'm going to add my Microsoft file. So let's click on File. I can drag it into this space here either from a Windows my computer or a network or a Mac wherever so I'm just going to open up my finder because I'm using a Mac and there is my document here I'm going to drag that in and there it's added and then I can upload that document so there it is my Microsoft document is uploaded now I need to change my menu here if I, I could leave it as a view only that means the children will only be able to view it if I click edit, then they can all edit the same file. But what I want to do is make a copy for each student. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click assign. So you can see here, there is the assignment. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at, at the student view to see what the students see. So let's go to student view. Here's my student view. Let's go to classwork. And there is my assignment, MS document. Let's click on that. And then I can either click this here or I can go to view assignments and then I can click it in the corner here. So let's do that. So there is my document. So it's opened my document up. Now what I need to do is I need to click on these three buttons in the corner and open in a new window. Then what you do, you need to open this in Google Docs. So you click on this. So as you can see, when you're doing this with students, they've got a few more steps that they need to do. So let's click on that. And now this acts as a Google document. So the students can edit this in any normal way. So I can add some stuff at the bottom here. All right, and then I can just close it as a Google document. So it's going to add this to Google Classroom now as a Google document. Um, so let's do that and we can close this. And now let's go back to my Google Classroom and I want to go back to my teacher view. And then if I go my teacher view here, MS document, let's have a look at the students. And I'm going to go to Han Solo here, open his document up. And then you can see here, I've got the changes that have been made. Now it is still a Microsoft document. So if I downloaded it here, it would download as a Microsoft document. Okay, so I'm going to close this and we'll go back to our Google Classroom and here is my classroom and my stream. Let's go back to classwork. Now, let's use the second method now, which I actually prefer. It's a better method for the students because they don't have so many clicks to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google Drive. I'm going to add my Microsoft document to my Google Drive. So let's go back to my Finder window and I'm going to drag this in like so. Now there is my Microsoft document. Now if I open this document, again, I will need to open it with Google Docs. And now all I need to do, you can see here it's still a Microsoft document, but what I can do is go to File and Save as a Google Doc. So let's save that as a Google Doc. And now back to my Google Drive, I will now notice I have two documents. And you can see the different icons here. One is a Microsoft Word document and the other is a Google Doc. So once I've done that conversion, I can now go back to my Google Classroom and create assignments. And this time, instead of going to File, I can go to Google Drive and then just choose this document here, which is my Google Doc. So let's click on Add, make a copy for each student, Topic, training, and then assign. Let's go back to the student view. Let's go back to classwork. There is my second assignment. So let's click on this. This is now a Google Doc. 
So when I go to view assignment and click on it, it will take me straight into the document. We don't have to do any of that conversion. So the conversion is basically done by the teacher in the second method Whereas in the first method, it's really done by the student. So there's more clicks involved. I hope that helps with understanding how you can use Microsoft documents in Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.